So, Lou, remember a few months ago that, um, local writing competition you told us about? I scratch my ear. You mean the West Midlands New Talent Competition? That's the one. Marvin points his two forefingers at me. I watch as a huge grin lights up his face. Oh my gosh, have any of you entered? Um, not exactly. Marvin's back to looking shifty. Esther Montgomery pats Marvin's hand. What Marvin is trying to say is that all of us in the writing circle think you're very talented, Lou. Thank you, I smile graciously, and you are too. I wait for her or anyone to continue, but everyone remains tight-lipped. For goodness sake, what is it? I prompt. Then Marvin does something quite comical. He exhales deeply and says the following in a rapid monotone. When you weren't looking, I photocopied one of your children's stories and sent it off to the competition. I stare at him. Is this a joke? You've won, Lou! He punches the air while the others whoop with excitement. Let me get this straight. I look round at the circle of apprehensive faces. They must be worried what my reaction will be, because the fact is they've gone behind my back and tampered with work that is clearly copyrighted without my consent or approval. I feel a bud of indignation flicker in my stomach. You sent off my work to a competition on the sly. Uh, I suppose. Marvin coughs, hopping from foot to foot. Esther steps towards me. We knew you'd never enter. You're so humble about your talent, Louise. Alfred continues. So we thought we'd do it for you. Ravina grins. And now you've won. I glance at Freya. You knew about this too. She nods. I wanted to tell you, but the others... We all thought you'd never agree to it. Too right she wouldn't, Marvin says with a snort. Does any of this matter? You've won, Lou. You've bloody won. I allow my face to break into a smile. I did? Yes! They all chorus. But which one did you send off? My head is spinning slightly, and I hold on to the table unit for support. The one about the rebellious ladybird, Marvin says with satisfaction. It's safer on the sunflower, I recap over the title. Had it been proofread? Yes. We checked it for typos, but it was perfect, Lou. Just like you, Esther smiles warmly. I suppose, I let out a shuddering breath, I should thank you. No need, Marvin says primly. They had almost a thousand applicants, you know. Just proves my point that you're good enough to make it as a published author. I shake my head. I can't believe I've won. What have I won, by the way? Marvin clicks his fingers. Prepare to be amazed, because you, Louise Henry, have won a week at a writer's retreat. Isn't that utterly marvellous?